Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will be discussing with you guys a very hidden and obscure trick of LDOE used in the port lab. This trick revolves around the thorn spurt, and I first saw this trick showcased in the live stream of one of our favorite LDOE YouTubers, Happy Sire. He talked about it and used it in the port lab, and in today's video, I will try to do the same and see if it's worth it or not. I'll be clearing the sector I1 of the port lab using this trick because I actually for the first time have the thorns perk available. So, first let's explain how the thorns perk work. Basically, every time an enemy hits you, you will take damage based on the amount of armor you have. For example, with a full set of tactical armor which gives 24 armor points, the enemies will receive 24 damage each time he hits you. The better the armor, the more damage you will do. A full set of CBRN armor gives 32 armor points while Kevlar gives 38, which is the best armor you can get as of right now in LDOE. To maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of this trick, head over to your cooking stove using carp, perch and salmon. You will cook a dish called fish mix, which will give a 10 armor point increase when eaten. Unfortunately, you can't take the meals with you, so make sure to leave until you are fully ready to go to the port lab. Now let's jump right in the lab. The way you want to which this method is pretty simple. I recommend having some melee weapons and guns just in case. But as you will see by the end of this video, I'm not going to use too much. And as for the armor, I'm using a full set of Kevlar armor. Combined with the fish buff, the zombies will receive 48 points of damage each hit. Also, for this trick, you will need a lot of healing items. Make sure to bring enough of medkits and bandages, or even beans. How to do it? Pretty simple. I go to the zombies and just stand there and let them hit you. But of course, there is a couple of annoying zombies that you will have to deal with. First is the screamer. Avoid his stun attack. Then there is of course the ass meters. I don't need to say this, but you have to avoid his spit at all costs. He will just destroy all your armor. I recommend killing the zombies in small packs of two or three so that you don't get swarmed. As for your weapons, I suggest hitting the zombies back with a katana or machete to speed up the process. For the guns, use them on acid melters to kill them as fast as possible. You don't want to have annoying zombies following you. There is nothing more to say really. Do the same as me in the video. Go slow, aggro zombies in small packs, use melee weapons and guns accordingly. Don't panic and that should be it. Now let's talk about if this method is worth it or not. Well, it depends really. I used Kevlar and Seberian armor because I have some sets lying on the page and I don't know where to use them. But some would say that it's a waste, but all in all, I'd rather use armor than guns. Then there is the loot you get. The port lab loot is kinda made when you are an advanced player and have completed the drone. The A and B storage crates have some decent loot, most importantly the Genesis weapons. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to spend some time using this method. And if you used it already, make sure to give your opinions on the comments down below. What I suggest is that instead of using the trick in normal mode of the port lab, Use it in the hard mode, which is much more worth it. Since zombies there have increased armor and you can't use normal weapons, this method can help save up on Genesis weapons, but it depends if you get the thorn spell. And that's pure luck. Unfortunately for free to play players, there's no way to change perks for free.
So these are the results for this video. I used up one set of Kevlar armor, a couple of katanas, half durability of my M16, and around a stack of healing items, and that just for A1 sector. So you think you think this was worth it? Do you think this method is effective in clearing port lab? Make sure to share your thoughts on the comments down below. In my opinion, this trick is definitely something you want to try. Just for time to time check what perk you get and if you are lucky enough to get the thorns perk. Try it out, especially if you are an invest player with lots of armor and mid kits, just sitting in your base rotting away. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. That's it for the video, bye bye.